announced it drops a new YouTube video on their latest partnership to serve government customers alongside Striveworks. Now, going through the trailer, they are working together with Palantir Strong Ontology Model, as well as user-centric machine learning operations, while Striveworks, I'm assuming, provides the end-facing user experience on a low to no-code environment. Now, the big point here really is that they have overlapping business interests with Palantir, and it was actually even acknowledged in the video by CTO Sham Sankar as competitors for certain offerings. So them coming together really is allowing Striveworks to actually deploy their platform that has the common infrastructure through the ontology paired with the Apollo for that deployment end of things here on a consistent basis. So it's really that big play we hear from Palantir being that infrastructure play that you build upon for your AI that allows these companies to actually build out the tools and platforms that work and the processes in this case may be serving these government customers. So their customers can use this plus with the heavy focus on AI for mission critical operations for Striveworks end users that it really is targeted towards that government clientele. So they know building this on top of Palantir just makes sense too, especially as a partnership from the security end makes sense when you hear about their reputation. Now, check out the quick four minute trailer when you have a chance that goes over the high level description of this partnership. And this sounds like only the beginning of them working together, not only technology wise, but sounds like they are mission wise focused to be able to go over Western values, at least for where they're aligned. And I think at least timing wise, we know Palantir has been continuing to chip away in trying to grow their government business, especially in the United States, which we did see some improvement actually last quarter. And I'm thinking they're trying to put more emphasis on the front facing aspects of this business, not only for the marketing aspects, of course, although its effectiveness to winning contracts might or might not be front and center of all this, but rather jointly, possibly the tech sector of small companies and startups as well to see this partnership and then maybe make them want to pursue government dollars with the help of Palantir as well. Now, we'll continue to see if this actually takes place, but I'd say never sleep on this. And it does remind me a lot about FedStart, considering this sounds very FedStart-esque, where you work with Palantir, you can get those security clearances as needed to serve those government contracts. Now, it's not explicitly in this case mentioned, but you know what I mean. But what are your thoughts though below, and I'll see you in the next video.